What's up guys, Drop Bellerton here and today I'm going to be, this is the first episode of The Road to Glory, this is season 3 and uh, yeah, I've taken a long break from YouTube because let's be honest, FIFA 21, I, I lost interest after Team New Seasons, so after Team New Seasons I just lost complete interest in this uploading videos like I used to in FIFA 20 because the game wasn't really that fun but Anyway, we're back, we are refreshed, we are re-energized, and we're ready to go for this season, so Yeah, um, this is the first episode obviously, so I'm going to show you my team right now uh, This is how it's looking right now um, It's a La Liga slash um, League uh slash Yeah, La Liga and um, League uh So far, it's that's, so this is the star team we got right now This will have to do at the moment because uh, we haven't got the most we haven't got as most coins but hey uh monday we're going to be having 4600 fever points on monday so we're going to be using that for drafts and some of our packs as well i'm not going to show you the tactics because i'm still learning to play the game and um yeah my record right now i play about i think yeah i play six games so far i won five of them only drew one so commonly undefeated and Division Rivals win Division 9 as I'm going to show you right now so Division Rivals have changed so you need uh, 1,500 um, Rivals points to qualify you for the um, for the Champions players I'm going to explain to you in a minute so obviously if you win a game if you win one game you move a rank if you lose you lose a, you move down a rank unless you reach a checkpoint and obviously if you get like a winning streak then you can progress further into your division so we're hoping trying to get to at least division 8 that would be very nice to get and um, let me tell you that let me show you how the first how the champions is like now so once you get enough points which is a uh, thousand and five hundred points you head into this phase called um, champions playoffs so right here you get nine attempts you get nine matches and you have to win five and lose four. So if you win, if you win one game, the win is worth four points. If you lose, you get a point. So you want to reach towards here, okay? This is where you want to reach to. So you get to rank two, you get the pack, then you get the champions qualification. Now once you reach to, once you qualify for the player, uh, uh, might you do one of the playoffs, then you reach to this stage right here. So it is a points based system. It is now 20 games it's not 30 games so that's actually kind of good for most people myself and it's again it's a point based system it's not about wins so a win will get you four points and a loss will get you one point and honestly guys if you want to do really well then if you get 16 and 4 then you probably get the best award so you get three player picks out of five so this is like elite one rewards slash so top yeah elite, elite elite one rewards <laughs> you get to here see the the packs become different you get two thousand qualification points which means you still have to play the playoffs so no matter what happens you still have to play playoffs so this is so yeah that's how it looks like and you can see right here where like that's the um, qualification points you need a thousand five hundred and I might as well talk to you about this game as well. So, so far what I've, what I've now played, I've played the beta and obviously played the 10 hour early access. Um, shoot, um, literally skill moves are not that effective. So you can't really cancel too many skill moves at all. I try and cancel it in the beta, like the burb has been canceled, the lack of it to cancel. I, I can't, I can't cancel. I just cannot cancel. Uh, goalkeepers are just overpowered as hell okay they just save every single shot that comes at them i don't know how they do it i mean i know they need i know that goalkeepers need to save shots yeah but it, it, it's come on now i'm trying chip shots um one on one with the keeper still saves it now the only way you can score against the keeper yeah is either you, you do a ball roll you ball apart the keeper you do a finesse outside the box that seems to be effective or again if you get to a one on one position you have to sweat it if the guy yeah you have to sweat it because if you try and shoot it straight away the keeper's gonna save it so try and sweat if you can and um 
yeah so that's like that is it for this um road to glory so that's things i enjoy about fifa 22 i mean i enjoy the game so much but obviously there's gonna be a patch which might change the whole game itself so this has been drop a lesson here uh comment down below how you guys are how you guys are um, finding a few 20 so far and there'll be more videos coming out so yeah take care and goodbye